so very conscious of social distancing and the rest of it. But that's that's going too far. That is close to totalitarian kind of stuff. I hope Whitmer understands that she's not just going to be able to rule Michigan like other politicians rule, you know, China or something like that. You know, we're we're going to take our liberties and we're going to keep them and we're going to fight for them. As was the goal of the demonstration, cars are creating gridlock. An organizer acknowledges it's artificial gridlock when most people are staying home, but the goal was to create the big visual. Governor Whitmer said she respects the right to protest, but she had asked people to do so in a manner that doesn't jeopardize anyone's health. And the conservative coalition posted guidelines about remaining in vehicles, but uh, as you can see through the, vi uh, through the video, that was not followed across the board, and people are gathering up in uh, such a way that uh, is not respecting the social distancing guidelines entirely. Uh, some 5,000 people, or nearly 5,000 people, I should say, posted on Facebook that they intended to uh, attend this particular protest. Harris? To all the people of Wuhan, uh, you know, you made a great sacrifice uh, to be in this very strict quarantine. And, you know, I'm very glad that it succeeded, uh, but I'm sure that the difficulties uh, were very great. And so we're thankful that uh, you made these sacrifices. Um, you know, being at ground zero of a infectious disease is a incredible challenge. and you know, you uh, made changes, you know, work was stopped, your living was very different. Uh, and now the goal that all of that had, which is getting the cases down to very small numbers uh, and still being super open about, okay, where are those cases? Uh, that critical thing is, is something that people should feel good about. And, you know, I'm hope that we can get things even more back to normal uh, in the months ahead is, you know, we use testing data to see where do we still need to restrict things and where can we uh, go partially back to normal. So, you know, thank you for your sacrifices.